the state high school wrestling championship tournament begins tomorrow in Pueblo at the state fairgrounds, the Southwest Motors Event Center. Now, it's usually held in Denver, but the State High School Association chose a smaller venue this year due to COVID concerns, but it is exciting news for the Steel City. Our Natalie Chuck joins us outside the fairgrounds with more on that decision. Natalie? Well, thanks, Rob. We're actually fortunate enough to get inside of Southwest Motors Event Center. The girls will start wrestling tomorrow, and the boys, weather permitting, will kick it into gear on Friday. You can see here they've got the mats up and ready to go. And this is the second big championship to come to Pueblo in just the last several months, football being back in December over at CSU Pueblo. But what's even better about all of these events is what they're doing for the Pueblo community and our economy, not only now, but maybe in the future. We need more people. A feeling small business owners know all too well lately. We got to do our food order. But feeling a little filly might get their wish this weekend. At any time there's an event at the fair, we get busier. Just across the street from their restaurant, Southwest Motors Event Center will host the State High School Wrestling Tournament. The event that's usually held up in Denver followed the 2020 High School Football Championship and moved down to Pueblo. We're always excited when we get a chance to show off Pueblo and, and bring in people from out of the community. I mean, there's a there's a there's a great economic benefit and with statewide events coming down here in the middle of a pandemic. It's really helpful, especially with it being across the street and stuff. Our visibility just increases. So bringing things to Pueblo just really, really helps out us, our local economy and businesses. Plus, Jeff Shaw with the Pueblo Economic Development Corporation says it's an opportunity for Pueblo to be seen as more than a pit stop off of the interstate. It's great when people from up north can see um, how amazing Pueblo is. So it brings both an economic benefit, immediate, and it brings a long-term benefit as well. And Shaw says, hopefully, the state's wrestling and football tournaments are setting trends for the future. The rest of the state's going to see that we will be accommodating. We want you here. We want to continue this relationship, and we'll do everything we possibly can to make your experience the best possible experience there is and to showcase not only the great venues, but the great people of Pueblo. And feeling a little Philly tells me that every year when the state fair rolls around, they have regulars that are down here from Denver and they eat at their restaurant every single day for lunch. So they said that they're hoping this weekend brings a few new regulars as well. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5. Natalie, thanks. Now